Get boss out to the pack. It is pack here. As you know, if you follow the channel at all, you know the, the next roster update comes out literally tomorrow, right? What I want to do in today's video is talk about a couple players that I think absolutely like are, are priority number one for a rating upgrade in this roster update. I'm going to cover that in today's video. Before the video starts, if you like this kind of content, please join the pack and subscribe and leave a like on the video to help the video grow. And now, the first player I want to talk about is Anne Fernie Simons. If you have been watching or paying attention to the Blazers at all, there's no denying this dude is going crazy. Okay, so when I read up stats, I'm usually talking about the last 10 games. Okay, the last 10 games, the Blazers are 6-4, and four, right? So even though they're not a playoff team right now, they're trying to fight for a play-in spot. And if they keep playing like this, they could definitely get it, right? It's weird because ever since they lost Damian Lillard, you thought, oh, it's it's a wrap for the season. Like, it's over, right? But CJ came back. Nurkic is kind of playing crazy. And Simons is looking like the best player on the team outside of, obviously, Damian Lillard, right? But, like, I'm, that's not even an exaggeration to say. He's looking like the best player on the Blazers right now, right? Um, he's leading the Blazers in scoring with 22 points per game on extreme efficiency of 41% from the three. The dude's amazing. He's super quick, athletic, can create a shot like nothing. The, obviously, the defense isn't there, but like, if they're kind of succeeding and he's leading the team, he should have a pretty high rating. This is going to be the biggest change I'm expecting from 2K. I was going to say like an 82 overall, but he's been doing it consistently the past couple weeks. Like, it's not like a one game thing. He's been doing it for a while now. I'm going to say something extreme. I think you tie him with CJ McCollum as the best player on the team outside of Damian Lillard. I know that's extreme, but like he's been putting up these numbers for a while now. And like it's it's definitely not a fluke right now. It's it's real. So real. Sorry about my voice cracked. I'm, I'm ashamed. But for real, 79 overall should be an 85 overall. A plus six for Anthony. Absolutely. He's been insane. Now, there isn't much to say about this next player at number four, Joel Embiid. Absolutely needs to go up. He's a 95 overall. Now, that's a massive rating, right? That's huge. I've been thinking about it, and I think he needs to be at the minimum a 96. You could push 97, but that's a whole other conversation. Let me explain to you why. The 76ers are 7-3 and three in the last 10 games, which is a great record in the last 10 games. One of the best in the NBA, okay? He is carrying the 76ers in that stretch hard. I'm not saying Tobias Harris isn't playing well, but the rest of the team has been struggling these last 10 games for the most part. But Joel Embiid has been averaging 35 points per game on 11 rebounds and efficient in the last 10 games. That's scary numbers though. They're superstar numbers. Not only superstar numbers, those are MVP numbers. So, and we know how amazing he is on defense. Like he can do it all. He, a similar player that's dominating and is a defensive presence that has very little holes in his game is Giannis and Giannis is a 97 overall so I, I, that's all I'm saying is that if you can do a little bit of everything you're maybe the best player in basketball I'm not even opposed to putting him at his 97 because he's kind of playing like that right I'd even argue he should be MVP he's been that good I mean Giannis is a 97 and Jokic was also in the conversation for MVP is a 96 so i think minimum he's a 96 that's that's my argument i'm trying to make with joel Embiid. he's he's fantastic the next player at number three is tyler hero so let me set the scene right so the, the heat in the last 10 games are seven and three right pretty good record tyler Hero's missed the last three games but in the last 10 games that he has played and he's coming back today i believe right in the 10 games that he's played he has been the leading scorer on the miami heat the Miami Heat have the best record in that stretch. The Miami Heat are the best team in the East right now. And Tyler Hero is leading them in scoring, okay? And he's the fourth best player. I can't name you another player in 2K history where that's been the case. The fourth best player? Even being the third best player feels weird because when you're the leading scorer on the best team in the East, it feels wrong that you have such a low rating, right? Tyler Hero said that he should be in the conversation with Luka and, you know, Trey Young, like that kind of category. 
and he's playing as such, right? I'd argue just off of that alone, his shot creating ability, he makes some tough shots. I know his defense isn't fantastic and like he's kind of one dimensional in scoring, right? But when you're the leading scorer and the best team in the East, what do you want me to tell you? He's, I think it feels weird to have him in the same rating as Bam. So I say he should be an 85. That's what I feel like right now. Okay, at number two, one that I feel pretty strongly about is RJ Barrett. So the Knicks are five and five in the last 10 games, which isn't necessarily great, but it's not also terrible either. They're just mediocre, right? They haven't been doing great this season, but they've changed their philosophy in the last couple games. And that's why I want to talk about that. The Knicks have given RJ Barrett the keys to the offense. It's been Julius Randle for a while. For the past couple years, they said Julius Randle was just going to post you up and then you make things happen. And that had worked, but people are starting to figure Julius Randle out. And he's not having a great season, right? Kemba Walker, they also tried to give him the keys for a little bit and it didn't work. If you've ever watched Knicks games, you'll kind of notice that like RJ Barrett will be not open, not like wide open, but like, let me kind of explain to you how it works. Like, let's say you have an NBA player on your team that is the like primary scorer, right? What you'll do is you'll come up in a half court set, right? And you usually start the possession off giving it to that player, right? That player will be even kind of open and you will force it to that player so they can start the possession, right? The, the, the Sixers do it to Joel Embiid, they post them up. The, the Bucks do it to Giannis all the time. LeBron James, they do it in the Lakers, they, they set them up, right? Even even Russell Westbrook will give it to Le, like LeBron to set up a, like a possession, right? That's a normal, that, that's how you treat your best player on the team is that they will get open and then you kind of force them. It, like, it's not like college, right? Like in college, they set plays and the NBA, it's a lot more feed your best player and let them work. They're finally giving RJ Barrett that opportunity to do that. And it's been paying off in fold, right? Because he's averaging 23 points, 43% from the three while creating his own shot and they're five and five, which is better than what they were doing before. He's been the best player on this team. They're finally giving him that opportunity to shine and it's looking good for the New York Knicks and they're looking a lot better ever since RJ Barrett was given the keys. Expect them to start winning a couple more games, I feel like, and expect RJ Barrett's rating to be the best on the team with an 84 overall, I feel. And finally, at number one, this one's a given. Miles Bridges, a given. An absolute given. This is like the easiest rating upgrade you could ever do. The Hornets are 7-3 in the last 10 games. Miles Bridges is the leading score on the team the last 10 games by far, right? Uber athletic player. Can do literally everything. Drives to the basket, rolls over people, and gets a layup. Easy. Can dunk on anybody. Easy. Can create a three and make wide open threes. Easy. He can do it all. He can do it all. He's amazing. Uh, he's averaging 22 points per game for the team in the last 10 games. He's a leading scorer. He's eye test wise the best player right now. You could argue Lamella Ball's tied with him. Tie, tie the rating. Tie the rating because he it's it's like wrong that he's not higher, right? That's everyone. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. If you like the channel, please give it a sub, and I'll see you guys next time.